Hello and thanks for joining. In this video we'll discuss how you can easily migrate from Irwin Data Modeler to ER Studio Data Architect. The example Irwin model that we'll convert not only has tables and columns, its relationships have verb phrases, there's background colors used for specific tables, drawing shapes are utilized, as well as things like UDPs, domains, and other important objects that you'll want converted with the model. To import your Irwin model into ER Studio Data Architect, we'll invoke the ER Studio Meta Wizard from File, Import File from, External Metadata. The Meta Wizard is a bridge that allows you to import models from various data modeling tools, ETL tools, BI tools, and other common metadata exchange formats. The Meta Wizard allows you to import Irwin models from as far back as Irwin version 3 to the latest version. Irwin models can be imported directly from an Irwin file or from the model manager. If you import from an Irwin model from these options, you'll need to have Irwin installed on the same machine as ER Studio. Alternatively, you can save your Irwin model as an XML file and import it into ER Studio standalone. For this example, we'll choose to import an Irwin 7.3 file. On this first page of the wizard, after choosing the file that you'd like imported, you'll want to choose the values for the other available import options. Note that as I choose another option, the documentation below will be updated with information pertaining to that specific option. In this case, we'll choose the default values, which are the most common values required when importing directly from Irwin. On page two of the wizard, we'll choose the location to save our converted model, and we'll set up the consistency check. Note that Irwin's model validation is slightly looser than ER Studio's, so in some cases you'll need to choose the no consistency check so that the conversion doesn't error out. However, in many cases, as in this one, we can choose the basic consistency check. We'll go ahead and choose the default values for the remaining options. And once we click next, we'll begin the conversion. What I'll look for here is some errors popping up. We're looking for the red X's or red texts. And in this case, I don't see any. Therefore, our model was converted successfully. Clicking Finish will open up that model. Let's take a look at the converted physical model. The overview window is automatically provided for us here, which allows us to easily navigate this model and we can quickly see that the table with its specific background, color was converted, drawing shapes were converted, verb phrases were converted, as well as the important objects like domains, reference values, defaults, and UDPs. And there you have it, the simple steps to convert from Irwin to ER Studio.